Do you want to know how to improve your aim in Apex Legends? Good, because I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Warlug, and today I'm going to show you how to improve your aim in Apex Legends on console. Now, before we begin, if you guys do enjoy this content, hit that like button. It does help out the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on future Apex Legends videos. All right, guys, now that we're here in the firing range, the first step to this training course is you want to come down here and grab yourself an R99 and about 300 rounds of ammo, okay? 300 rounds should be plenty that you're going to need for this stage one of this training course. The next thing is that you want to have this gun with no attachments. I cannot stress this enough. Once you have no attachments on the gun, the recoil is at its worst when you have no attachments. Once you have some, it makes controlling the gun a whole lot easier. I cannot stress that enough, guys. Do not use any attachments. Okay. Once you have your R99 and 300 rounds of ammo, you're gonna come over here to the center platform. You're gonna to wanna to aim at this middle target. And I know it's a big target and it's about medium range, but the R99 has some, some pretty bad recoil and it's one of the most used guns in the game. So the idea here is you want to, you're gonna to wanna to get three 200 round damage stacks. Standing still, you don't have to move, nothing like that, just standing still. So three 200 round damage stacks, okay? Now it may take you a little bit, like you can see, it takes me just a little bit. I don't have the best aim in the game. But the idea here is to get three 200 round damage stacks, okay? All right. After you completed your three, dam three 200 round damage stacks, it's time to switch over to one of my new favorite guns in the game, and that's the flatline. All right, guys, now that you have your flat line and 300 plus rounds of ammo, the next stage in this is we're gonna be aiming at this back target here, the moving target. And although it doesn't move very slow, but because of the recoil on the flat line and some of these other guns like the Spitfire, Devotion, etc., so these guns have some of the worst recoil in the game. So the idea here is to get three 300 round damage stacks. Okay, this one can prove to be a little bit more challenging because of the moving target, but you guys can definitely get this one done. This one took me a little while to do. There we go. All right. Now this 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 just helps you track a little bit and it helps you aim a little bit better, okay? All right, guys, now that you have your three 300 round damage stacks done, we're gonna move on to the final stage in the course. And that's gonna be using the devotion, guys. The devotion, Grab some ammo, 300 rounds of ammo. Just kidding. All right, now that you have your devotion, head back over to the center stage and we're gonna be aiming at the smallest target all the way in the back there, okay? The devotion has some of the worst recoil in the game, but with the fire rate on it, that constantly increases, that makes this the final stage and makes it a very difficult one. Okay, so here again, you're gonna go for three 300 round damage stacks, all right? Now, my best advice to you is when you're doing this, is the gun, the gun picks up the fire rate as you continue to shoot. So the idea is one, try to control it all the way in the back there, uh, towards the end, because you're gonna have more bullets to hit the target with, okay? All right, we gotta grab another one. As you can see, this one is very difficult. And again, guys, you don't want to be strafing, moving, nothing like that. Just stand still and just completely focus on doing recoil control. There we go. All right. Now, once you've completed the final challenge, guys, and getting <clears throat> three 300 round damage stacks with the devotion, and I know that stage is very difficult. It's meant to be, guys, to help you with your recoil control. All right. Now, once you've completed it, go ahead and so give yourself a slap on the back, guys. Good job for completing this course. I know that one was very difficult to do. Now, again, I want to stress out enough like to use these guns with no attachments. And I know that the devotion is gold, but how bad the recoil is and how far the target is it makes this uh you know stage three course very difficult to use and will help you out with your recoil control okay now one more thing i want to talk about 
before we get over to the end of this video guys is uh a lot of questions that get brought up is uh sensitivity you know does sensitivity play a factor in your aim and the, the answer is yes now everybody's sensitivity is different there is no sensitivity that is a one-all be-all for everybody if you go into the settings here you see that my sensitivity is my look is a six and my ads is the default guys so and this changes for me and the more i play depending on how things happen or new changes that they bring to the game okay i used to be five five i used to have five three i used to be five four i used to be six six so like throughout every season my sensitivities have changed based on uh you know updates and everything that's been added to apex legends now at one time i was using linear okay i was using linear now this is pure control you know at high you know and that's totally up to you man that is totally up to you but there is no one all be all for sensitivity but i do want to add in because the question has been brought up it, it does add to your aim in this game okay so get a sensitivity that you're comfortable with adapt it as you continue to do this drill this course and then continue to play apex okay um this course was designed guys to help you with your recoil control and kind of like a warm-up so every day when you get on to play i definitely suggest going through this course like one to three times before you start actually playing kind of like a warm-up all right guys i hope this video has helped you out a bunch if you guys have any questions about it i do stream every friday saturday and sunday the link is going to be down in the description below if you guys want to see more videos on how to improve your apex legends gameplay drop a like that does help out my channel a lot and if you're new hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out when i put out a new apex legends guide video and for me warlock as always guys stay gaming see you later peace